Oh, I hope you guys had a wild and amazing and not too crazy Christmas holiday season. I actually got to unplug for a little bit, which was nice, but I was also busy with a big studio renovation, I guess. Big? Yeah, it was pretty big. So I thought, hey, why not today? I'm going to test out a couple of things we'll talk about after the intro, but show you off the new studio space and what's going on around here. Okay, so uh, roll that intro. Come and tour my studio. Okay, so shout out to Justin Spirational. Uh, he's currently at 992 subscribers. So, you know, maybe needs eight more. So if, if one of these two tips helps you guys, then maybe go check out his channel. I think links links will be below here. But, um, you know, my last video was talking about the you know, difference between Sony and Canon. All these people are switching to Canon. Got me thinking about it. And he said, hey, what about it's EOS HD makes uh, a color kind of package you can plug into Sony and makes it look more like Canon colors, which was important. So I've downloaded and trying that out in this video to see if I'm happier with the colors. And the other thing was he told me about Field Monitor, which is an app for your phone where you actually kind of get to in real time monitor, you know, your camera, which you can do in the built in Sony camera app if you're shooting Sony. But, you know, long story short, Sony, they have no screens that you can see yourself on in any of their decent cameras, which can be a pain for doing vlogging or things like this. So anyway, I'm trying it out. If it worked, I would put it on top of my camera. I can tell you right now, though, there's times where it's like laggy and it freezes for like 15 or 20 seconds. So I don't think this will be a solution, but it's still interesting. And even for being able to do this. Kind of handy, but anyway, thank you, Justin Inspirational. This has been cool, but anyway, you guys are probably familiar with this background thing going on behind me. This has kind of been, you know, the main setup, but I thought I would uh, take it back a little bit of a notch, and maybe, I don't know, I don't know if there's tips or tricks there might be in this that we can show around, but so let's back this out a little bit. So normally the setup when we're shooting here is I'll have a couple of different LED lights up here using some of the lights off the ceiling, and the odd time I'll throw in a lamp or two to be able to light up the background, but it's basically just, you know, about a 16 foot wall of background stuff. We've got a big desk with storage and different things that we use in, you know, a couple of different ways. If you're shopping for LED light bulbs, LEDs can be kind of bad for flickering or producing like rolling bands in your videos. I found a brand, F-E-I-T Electric. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. I think so. Their bulbs are good and they don't flicker or roll bands nearly as much. And in these, some cases, if you don't use a dimmer switch at all, which I had to try about seven brands of light bulb. That's a, that's a side note. But anyway, what, what used to happen here was this whole space would end right here on the floor and here. And there was another wall that went up here and it really like made this space much smaller and it made it harder for me to be able to put lighting exactly where I wanted to put lighting because I would end up running out of space or hitting into walls or we have a live show on Facebook and we have a bunch of people that come over and watch the live show and they weren't really fitting in here. So ta -da! we just ripped out the walls. We took down that wall and put a little seating counter area where they can have seats in there. And we've got a couple of desks. This is Greg, Greg, Greg works with me. He's the partner in the business. He's editing his vlog. Greg, what are you adding your vlog in? Uh, iMovie. Right? No shame. And it works. No shame. Works. His vlogs are funny because personality wins. But uh, my new space here, which again, I used to kind of have a room in here, but there was like a big cabinet in here. If you saw my Moza Air review, you would have seen some of that. But now it's just wide open. I've got my desk, got a nice monitor, audio, computer, yada, yada. And then just kind of shelving with all the stuff that I need fairly quickly to be able to grab and then what else? We've got a kitchen with a fridge and a sink and coffee apparatuses. Again, nice seating being able to be here. And then just a closet with storage for mics and stands and different things. And again, more storage with all sorts of accessories. What's nice about this is this becomes much more of a collaborative space, I would say. Whereas before it was kind of in sections and we would both like sit at the desk and work. But my actually main editing station would be in here with my big monitor. You know, this monitor, my nice like studio monitors for listening to audio, but I've never used it because it just felt disconnected. When we come up with ideas, we want to be able to talk about them quickly and collaborate. And that wall honestly made like a big difference for not wanting to be able to do that. So now that it's all opened up, it just feels right. I don't know how to say that. It just feels right. It feels like it's going to be so much easier to set up, 
make videos, get going, and that creativity is kind of important. And so I'm very fortunate to have this kind of big space in our house. It's about 400 square feet, and it's real nice. But yeah, I, I don't know what else to say. Did iMovie crash? Did it crash? Crash. I feel like I'm getting baptized right now. I think it saves all the time. You'll find out. <sighs> that could be trouble. Anyway, um, yeah, that's uh, that's a studio. What else can I tell you? Updates. I'm either, I'm like selling a bunch of stuff as I've been going through and cleaning up. Either, ooh, maybe, uh, Sigma has a 16 millimeter f1.4 that I think would be a fun, really interesting lens to vlog with because the background would be so shallow and blurry. I think that could be interesting. Or I'm gonna put that money towards a Canon SL2 as just like a dedicated vlogging camera. And I'll still use the Sony a6500 for shooting the like cinematic super slow motion things, but that's the stuff I'm thinking about. Anyway, that's a little update for me on a random, different, less produced video. And I'm curious to see how the colors come out of here trying out this new thing. Cool. I'm Justin. Thanks for watching. No. I guess that was the other part of the update was I used to always edit in Premiere and I've been trying Final Cut Pro for the last 30 days and I love it and I want to switch. I just want to spend the $400 right now. It's so much faster, you guys. That, that'll be another video, another topic. What do I do? Edit this in iMovie? Maybe. I still have Premiere. I'll set it in Premiere. Ooh, I like Final Cut.